All right, guys, well, we uh, left the uh, lake, Carlisle Lake campground. We had to come back to Pontoon Beach. Um, this is the third time we've had to come here. We came here before we went to Niagara Falls to get our brakes done. We spent $600 uh, on all new front brakes, uh, rotors, pads. In the rear, they put on new uh, uh, brake shoes and told us that our drums were good. We didn't need to replace them. When we left here, we went to Niagara Falls on the way there. We started getting a bad grinding noise um, in the rear. And we ended up going to another shop um, a little while later to finally have it looked at. And they said there was just massive uh, brake dust buildup. And they cleaned it out, charged us $100 per wheel to clean that out. So that was okay for a little while. But then uh, they started getting worse. So we, when we came through Illinois, we came back here to the tire place. We still, we're still under warranty, um, parts and labor. So we told them exactly what was going on, that our front brakes were grinding or squealing and our uh, rear brakes were grinding while we were driving, not while we were stopping. The front brakes would, would squeal when we stopped and the back brakes would grind while we were driving. So um, they took us in, took, took it around back, did whatever they were doing to it, come back out and told us, okay, you'll be finished up here shortly. It was about four hours? Yeah. About four hours. And come to find out all they did was one rear brake shoe, um, or one, one, the, the one rear wheel, they changed the brake shoes. That's it. And then told us that our drums were bad. Didn't give us an explanation why, I mean, it was just, six seven eight nine months ago when we got our brakes done here august in august yeah so they didn't even take off our front wheels they only took off one side one side in the back so i don't know exactly what what's going on here but we're back here again we had to stay the night in the parking lot we'll probably be here all again. day in the heat sitting out here outside but uh i'm gonna spin around here and show you the, show you this place i don't know if you can see the sign back there it's Patterson Tires here in Pontoon Beach, but uh, we'll take a walk up here and uh, actually here comes the owner. I don't know if he's coming this way or not, but uh, this is the third time that we've been here. It's just... Well, and this time now, even when we drive, just drive, ever since they did that last week, whenever we drive, you just hear a... Uh, the whole time. Um, I got a little bit of video that we can stick in there of that that I took on my phone. But yeah, even just in drive, it's uh, the whole time. So we'll walk up here for a second. All right, so here's the shop. Uh, this first bay on the end right here is where they had our RV the first time. They had it up on the lift and did all the work when they put the new brakes on. When we brought it back for warranty work, they took it around back. They didn't even put it on a lift and just jacked one wheel up and worked on one tire. So kind of upset about that, a little bit disappointed. If they don't get a fix today, then we're gonna go another route. Um, I don't know if we'll have to contact somebody or something, but you know, $600 is a lot well, of money to pay for, for something. You say $600, it was $600 on the card, or it was $600 cash, but it was also 150 on the card. So it was okay. almost $800. So almost 800, plus the other $100 we had to spend Getting the getting the uh, brake dust. The brake dust cleaned off one wheel. So, so I'm guessing they. Uh, what they're saying is that, that he thinks the guy gave us extra brake or something like that. Tighten the brake too tight or something. They've gotten too tight or something. But if they did that the first time, then yeah. that could have been possibly what ruined our, our drums. Now they're wanting us to buy new drums from them, and we just can't afford it right now. So, but anyway, we're gonna find out what's going on here. Um, Always something new on the road. You know, the first time we came, when we came back, we had an appointment. We sat here for four hours, and then they told us they couldn't even get us in that day. Yeah, that's true. So we had to stay the night in the parking lot and then wait the next day, and then we're here for another four hours. So Just take one wheel off. We'll probably be here all day again today, and who knows how long after that, but I'm getting pretty fed up with it, and we'll see what happens. Hey, guys. So it has been a week since we've been back with you guys on um, getting our brakes done at Patterson Tire in Pontoon, Illinois. So um, I got a little bit of notes here. I just want to kind of go over everything that we went through with it. Um, first, I'll, I'll say August of 
2018 is whenever we had the original work done and we had the warranty for a year after on parts and labor. Parts and labor for a year. So uh, parts were lifetime. Yeah, labor parts are lifetime. And then so and at that time we had our front pads done, rear shoes done, front wheel bearings and the front rotors. Front rotors. They told us our drums were good. Yep. We didn't need to replace them. Right. So we left there. We went to Niagara Falls. When we were heading that way, we noticed some squealing. In some the back. squealing, and we just assumed that it was maybe new brake squeal, something like that. Yeah. I don't know. So we didn't think too much of it, but it it progressed and progressed, it got worse and worse until we were going to different tire shops, you know, in different parts of the country to have them. They were cleaning out brake dust from the back wheel wells and everything else. So. Yeah. In August, we had the brake work done. By November, we were in Texas, and we had to have the wheel wells cleaned. Clean, yeah, the brake drums cleaned. Yeah, and that was $100 a tire yeah. to have that done. So, so and, anyway, that brings us to where we are now. Yeah. So on April 8th, we first went in. We Well, actually, I called prior to then, and, eight, and April 8th, we had an appointment for 7 a.m., we got the, we stayed there Sunday night, so we'd be there first thing in the morning, and we sat there all day. And at noon, they came and told us that they weren't going to be able to look at our car or our RV. So we left, made an appointment for the next day at 7 a.m. At 8:30, they pulled the RV to the back of the shop. Um, they didn't have any bays available, so and this was actually on Friday, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was on a Friday. I'm sorry, I might have said the days wrong. But anyway, so they pull the RV around to the back and no lift. They're just using a jack and they do one tire. I don't know why they decided to do one tire, if they thought that's just where it was or what. Now note that I also told them that they were squealing in the front also whenever we'd go to stop. When I applied the brakes, it would squeal in the front, but there was just squealing in the back whenever we would take off. Mm -hmm. So it was obvious that there was something sticking in the back and then the front, you know, I wasn't sure what was going on. So that day they got done with that one tire, said everything, or that one side, they said everything was fine. Um, we drove and it, and it was quiet for a few miles and then we heard it again. So we called them, told them that we still hear that noise. And the owner, Brian, says, well, there's no way I can get you guys in this week. I've got guys on vacation. There's only two people here. So I, this is on the 11th. So on the 8th, they couldn't see us. On the 9th, they did one tire in the back of the building. On the 11th, I called and they said, we can't get you all week. Okay, that's a Monday. And they said they can't get to us all week. So we didn't get an appointment until the 22nd of April. Now I'm messing up the timeline. No, I'm not. Okay, so on the 22nd of April, we get there we we stayed the night again at seven o'clock in the morning they actually got us or no they didn't actually get us back and we got the appointment at 7 a.m they didn't get us back there until 10 25 a.m they did the three sides that they had not done the first time whenever they pulled us around to the back and only did that one tire this time they actually pulled us in a bay and they did the other three they did the pads and shoes they did the front they did the front pads and the rotors again okay. and changed the front pads and the rotors because they were both bad yeah i got then we drove you drove you did a test drive with them and it sounded fine but they're not you mind you their test drive isn't that far no. and it's almost every time the rv is warmed up yeah. and we keep telling them that but anyway we left and i'm not kidding you we went just a few miles down the road to one of my friend's house and the started squealing in the back again. really bad which they didn't even touch the back this time so we called the owner back and he said all right come back stay the night again we drove it in a lot first and we showed him how it was squealing you yep. know we'd roll it back forth and they were like okay yeah there's yep. definitely an issue so the next day when we took it back on the 23rd they actually marshall and the guy actually took it for a test drive before they even did anything and um then they decided that's when they decided the drums were warped right um, and i asked the guy that was working on it you know that went with the test drive with me he said that they were adjusted too tight he said your rear brakes were adjusted too tight and i asked him well would that cause my drums to go bad because i had good drums you guys told me my drums were good when i originally got the brakes done he said yes it would definitely warp the drums 
Well, I think by that happening, we were using all of our front brakes because we had no back brakes. And that caused the front rotors and pads to go bad. Yep. So, anyway, go ahead. So, that was on the 23rd. So, they, they had to order the drums. So, there was nothing they could do. We had to stay the night again. So, we stayed the night again. And... Not even kidding. The second set of drums. This was the first set, still. So. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. The first set of drums. They. Uh, we sat there all day this time. All day. In they the shop. Because they got to take the axles and everything out when they do the drums on these duels. So we got the drums put on. End of the day. You know, we've been outside sitting with the dogs all day outside. We go for a test drive. He gets it up to like 50 miles an hour. Then he hits the brakes and it just vibrates. I mean, it's pretty bad vibration. He said, these brand new uh, drums are warped. So, turn around, okay, go ahead. I mean, it's pretty. You can finish from here. Yeah, so we, we go back. We're going to order you new drums, stay another night. We'll get them on tomorrow. Okay, you know, I'm irritated. This is getting pretty old. If this wasn't warranty work, would I be going through this right now? So, we stay the night. Next day, same thing, all day outside in the heat. Waiting for them to get done, so they put the new drums on, the second set of drums on, get finished up, go for the test drive. Them drums were warped worse than the first new set they put on. We told you guys, if it can happen, it'll happen to us. I'm pretty upset at this point. I'm not letting it show, but I'm getting pretty upset. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. So they said they're going to take the first set of new drums they bought, have them turn so they know that they're good, we stayed another night, so they sent them out that day. We stayed the night. They got them back in the morning. They put them on, and that was that solved the issue. That solved the issue. They had us done by ten thirty on Friday morning. Oh no! And wait, that didn't solve the issue because they had to before they got done. They had messed something up to where we were losing uh, oh, differential fluid, rear yep, end fluid. Yep, they messed a seal up. Yeah. Yep. So they had to change a seal out. So. Anyway, now we finally have front brakes, new rotors, new pads, new drums in the rear, new shoes all the way around. Wheel bearing seals. Wheel bearing seals. Um, I think that's it. We're done after 11 days. And it's been fine. And, you know, I don't, I don't know if I should be upset with the, the brake, co brake company that did this or just... That's how our luck goes, you know, because things happen to us all the time like that. But anyway, um, it's over. The brakes are finally working good. I'm happy. Uh, I don't hold anything against Brian, the owner. Mm -mm. He's he I mean, they great did, through the whole thing. They did everything they could. I mean, honestly, I mean, they put how many sets of pads on, Right. you know, and even whenever we, the last day, they did everything over, didn't they? Yeah, and he they, had two or three guys at a time working on yeah. it. Yeah. But I do have a feeling if it wasn't, warranty work probably wouldn't have been done right the first time right and they wanted me to buy the drums yeah when they first said your drums are warped they wanted me to buy the drums i said no wait a minute when i had all this done in august you told me i didn't need drums so how come now between getting new pads and not and shoes and all that now my drums are bad and when the when the guy that took me on the, the ride said they were over tightened in the first place that's why they were squealing well that clicked in my head so i asked so wouldn't that warp warp the drums if they were over tightened and they didn't want to talk about it too much. They just ended up offered well, to pay for the drums anyway. The, so, mechan the mechanic was more inclined was, to say, yes, yeah. this is our fault more than the owner was. Right. <laughs> he didn't want to be out, you know, even more money for the drums. But but they worked on it every day for mm -hmm. two weeks almost. Yeah. I mean, it, it this thing. We spent... Just for breaks. So it, when you're out on the road, anything can happen. I mean, you think, oh, I'll just pull in the shop and get new brakes put on. And we'll continue on our... It may not be that easy, so you better be prepared for things like that. Anything can happen. You just never know what. Yeah, you got to be. One thing we've learned, and he's done really well with in the last year and a half, two years we've been doing this, is you just kind of. It sucks when the stuff happens, but you just kind of got to go with it because what can yeah, you, you do? Can, I mean, the whole idea of getting the RV and getting away was to relax and enjoy life. So if you let every little thing like this upset you, you may as well go back to a brick and mortar and just. Yeah. Be upset about different things. Right. But, but anyway. We're good. Um, we're not in Illinois no more, but you will find out where we're at in our next video. Yep. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, please 
like, subscribe, and share, and follow us on other social media, guys. I don't know if you could hear any of that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.